Welcome to the ultimate guide to microplastics. In the next three minutes, we'll explore what microplastics are, their impact on health and drinking water, and what you can do about them. Plastic doesn't decompose, so once it's in the environment, it's unfortunately here to stay. Over time, plastics can break down into smaller and smaller pieces, creating microplastics. Microplastics are larger than one micron, but smaller than five millimeters. That means, at their largest, microplastics are about the size of a sesame seed. There are two types of microplastics, primary and secondary. Primary microplastics are intentionally manufactured for commercial products, such as in microbeads and cosmetics. Secondary microplastics are the indirect result of larger plastics breaking down due to everyday wear and tear, exposure to chemicals, and natural decay. From our oceans, to the air we breathe, to the water we drink, microplastics are everywhere. Microplastics are a relatively new field of study. Both the World Health Organization and the CDC have said there isn't enough evidence linking microplastics to concrete health effects. But potential risks are being studied. In the United States, microplastics remain largely unregulated in drinking water. Microplastics end up in drinking water when plastics break down in the environment and pollute water sources like rivers, lakes, and reservoirs. Once microplastics have entered a water system, they cannot be seen, smelled, or tasted. The same is true for microplastics in bottled water. The only way to know if microplastics are present is to have your water tested by a certified lab. Lab testing is critical because it's typically the smaller microplastic sizes that persist in water systems after treatment. Unfortunately, at-home testing options like test strips cannot identify microplastics. If you're concerned about your water quality, TAPSCORE can be a valuable resource in helping you collect your sample, sending it to a certified lab for analysis, and interpreting your results in an easy-to-understand way. A specialized microplastics test kit for drinking water is available on TAPSCORE's website. Good news is that you can filter microplastics from your water. Consider reverse osmosis, micro, ultra, and nano filtration, or certified active carbon filters. Make sure your filter's pore size is smaller than 2.5 microns and always confirm that the filter has an NSF or ANSI 401 certification for optimal results. While the full extent of the impact of microplastics on human health is still unknown, being informed and taking proactive steps to test and filter your water can contribute to a healthier future. Visit mytapscore.com to learn more about water testing and microplastics today.